Hi, Cecil College graduates. I'm Dr. Jennifer Greenfield, Department Chair and Professor of Teacher Education. I would like to wish all of my teacher education students the best of luck as they transfer and to stay strong. Congratulations, class of 2020. Many of you have made it here despite extraordinary circumstances. And I'll just share with you some advice that I've been trying to take, something I learned from Steve Martin, which is be so good that they can't ignore you. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020, woo woot! A very famous philosopher, Plato, once said that if a man neglects his education, he walks lame to the end of his life. That is not you. You are walking tall and you have a lot to look forward to. Congratulations. Congratulations, Cecil students. Good luck and go make the world a better place. Congratulations to the class of 2020 at Cecil College. You guys have done it. I uh, wish you the best of luck in the future with all your future endeavors. And happy belated Mother's Day to all the moms out there because none of this is possible uh, without you. So best of luck and let's go see home. Congratulations, class of 2020, you did it. I hope you have an amazing future and good luck. to the class of 2020 on all your accomplishments, wishing you the best going forward. Uh, you have all the skills and everything it takes to go and be successful and hoping that you're able to do so and remember us fondly. Congratulations. A heartfelt congratulations to the graduating class of 2020 for Cecil College. May your futures be bright and full of all your dreams coming true. Congratulations! class of 2020 congratulations on your graduation a special shout out to the PTA program we are proud of all your hard work and know you will go on to be great clinicians congratulations class of 2020 you did it I'm so very proud of you 
time to update that resume. Reach out to Career Services and I'll help you find a job. Rising team sends warm wishes and congratulations to all of our 2020 Cecil graduates. We are so proud of you and we celebrate with you today on all your many accomplishments. Congratulations to all of our graduates from ECA, Oxford, and Homeschool. Job well done. Tamika Swan, Registrar of Cecil College, say congratulations to 2020 graduates. Way to go! Before in the history of our college have we needed to cancel our in-person commencement ceremony. I state this solely for the purpose of acknowledging that this reality is further proof of the graduating class of 2020's commitment to finish strong. Your resilience in responding to the COVID-19 pandemic has earned this class an esteemed and unprecedented distinction. Each of you has made an individual sacrifice for the well-being of the greater good. You have handled the COVID-19 pandemic, remote learning, and our virtual graduation ceremony with grace and dignity. And for that, Cecil College and your community thanks you. And we all join together 
Each of us in our own way to recognize you today, we can think of no greater honor than what you have actually bestowed upon all of us. Our Seahawk pride in your graduating class is without bounds. We congratulate you not only for your academic accomplishments, but for the outstanding character that each of you has displayed during this very challenging and difficult time. <clears throat> In addition to the high accomplishment of graduating from college, you have also demonstrated to all of us that you are ready to face and surmount any challenge that life has to offer with quiet resolution and an admirable concern for the greater good. You have proven without a doubt that you possess not only the skills, but the strength, maturity, and compassion to truly succeed in life. As you move forward in your lives, please always remember that our gratitude and pride in this unique class goes with you. We will always remember the role you played in order to keep all of us safe and well. And we will remember that above all other graduating classes, you truly put your community first. Not only are you ready to own your futures, you are the class that stepped up and owned the present. We are grateful and we thank you. I am proud to announce that today, your community college is awarding 267 associate degrees and 21 certificates to 245 students. Cecil College serves over 6,000 credit and continuing education students annually. I extend a sincere thank you to our supporters in the county, state and region and community and to our students, faculty and staff for being a part of student success at Cecil College. The class of 2020 provides me with an opportunity to celebrate another amazing year leading the college and getting to know the outstanding students who chose Cecil College. We praise your determination and acknowledge family members and friends who have provided encouragement and support along the way. I want to thank the parents, spouses, partners, and family members who have sacrificed to make this day possible. Most importantly, I want to express my sincere appreciation to Cecil College's faculty and staff. Cecil is fortunate to have excellent faculty and staff members who impact the students' lives each day and work hard to prepare them for a successful career or to transition to another college. Thank you. At this time, it is my pleasure to recognize our special guest. The members of the Board of Trustees give countless hours of volunteer service to the college on your behalf. Please help me welcome Mr. Mark Mortensen, Chair, Dr. Sidney Teal, Vice Chair, Mrs. Sarah Kalenda, Mrs. Donna Horgan, Mr. Raymond Hamm, Mr. Michael Sabinico, Ms. Kathleen Kunda. Members of the Cecil College Foundation are dedicated ambassadors of the college. They increase awareness and support for the college within the region by creating partnerships with individuals, businesses, organizations, and private foundations to raise funds for scholarships, instructional equipment, professional development, capital projects, and other educational needs. Special thanks to the Cecil College Foundation. Our state delegation advocates for our college initiatives in Annapolis. Their support 
help Cecil College students achieve their dreams. Our county executive and county council members give countless hours of service to Cecil County and to the college. Thank you. County Executive Dr. Alan McCarthy, Council President Bob Methley, Council Vice President Jackie Gregory, Councilman Bill Kautz, Councilman Al Miller, and Councilman George Patchell. Our other special guests include Dr. Christy Dreyer, Vice President of Academic Programs, Dr. Kimberly Joyce, Vice President of Student Services and Enrollment Management, Dr. Ann Edlin, President of the Academic Senate, Mrs. Lauren Fleck, Executive Director of Human Resources, Ms. Chrisanne Zepp, Vice President of Community and Government Relations, Mr. Hugh Curran, Vice President of Finance and Administrative Services, Mr. Maurice Tyler, Chief Information Officer. I am pleased to acknowledge the highly credentialed and outstanding members of our faculty who impact students' lives and work hard to prepare them for a successful career or transition to another college. You have much to be proud of because our research shows that students will continue to succeed after they leave college. Also, I would like to acknowledge student support services staff who are with students from the time they arrive on campus. They are with you here today at graduation. Family, friends, college staff, trustees, foundation members, student support groups and administrators, thank you for helping to make this day possible. Guest, at this time, I present the Chair of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Mark Mortensen. Hello, everyone. My name is Mark Mortensen, and I'm the proud Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Cecil College. On behalf of all of my fellow trustees, I welcome you to our first ever virtual commencement ceremony. To all students, I wish I could jump through this screen and give each of you a well-deserved handshake for all of your accomplishments. Each of you has endured unique challenges, and we trustees, faculty, and staff are proud to be celebrating with you today. To all friends and family, thank you for supporting your students and providing what they needed to make it through all of the normal and extraordinary challenges that they uniquely faced and conquered. These times have the potential to change us both individually and collectively for the better, even though the growth may not be welcome or very comfortable. You will remember these times for the rest of your life, and you will understand 10 years from now how much better of a person you are for having overcome the obstacles that you faced. Best wishes to you in all your future endeavors. We know that you will do well. Thank you, Trustee Mortensen. Hello everyone. On behalf of Cecil College, I, Samal Wahid, would like to welcome you all to the virtual graduation ceremony for Cecil College Class of 2020. I can guarantee none of us expected to have our graduation look like this, right? Regardless of these unfortunate circumstances, we can still celebrate all of our accomplishments together, even though we are physically apart. Our current situation shows us the importance of all that we learned in our various academic disciplines. Without nursing, psychology, public health, communication, social work, and so many others, we would not be able to succeed in creating our future. Today, I will be graduating with an Associates in Elementary slash Special Education, as well as an Associates in Early Childhood Education. As a student in this concentration area, I have learned the importance of social-emotional learning and connections to not only our students, but also their families. I understand that students of this graduating class have had immense support from their families. Without such support and communication, none of us would be where we are today. In addition to our families at home, we've had a strong support from our Cecil College family, which includes more than just our classmates and professors. Our current experience in online classes and social distancing has helped us treasure the connections and emotional strength amongst us. This bond that we have developed, we will continue to build on as we slowly recover and get back to continuing our education, careers, and lives. As we embark on our academic and career journey, we will appreciate the lessons we have learned throughout our time at Cecil. I have found that all of my professors have helped me feel welcome and confident in sharing my views on topics in class. They have encouraged me to work hard and excel to become whoever I hope to be. 
One professor I'll always remember is Dr. Greenfield. Many education majors will agree with me on their wonderful experience with her. Dr. Greenfield is the department chair of the education program at Cecil. As her student, I have learned a lot from her, not only about teaching students, but also learning from our students. She has taught me from personal experience how she treasures and utilizes her experience with each of us in her classroom to continue to modify her classes. Cecil College professors have a unique way of getting to know each of us in a personal manner that helped us feel welcome. On this day, May 17th, 2020, we will always be reminded of the love, friendships, family, resilience, patience, and motivation we all endured to move on and create our individual futures. Great job, Class of 2020, wishing you all the best in each of your future endeavors and in pursuing your dreams. Good evening, fellow students. First, I'd like to commend the graduation committee and those involved for orchestrating a memorable graduation ceremony. Although I am saddened we are apart, we push our strengths and our limits when faced with unfamiliar circumstances and unorthodox conditions indeed. Nevertheless, each one of us prevailing. Not only have we completed the necessary coursework and procedures to be at this point, but we also have newfound experiences and developments. This Cecil campus provided plentiful opportunities for such, and to that, I am grateful in my participation. I met a diverse audience throughout my time here and sought friends and mentors alike. To this day, I'm still proud to say that they helped me grow my creativity so much so, I even decided to link slinkies, bubbles, and spaghetti with physics and mathematics. It sounds strange, but my professors only took more pride in guiding me. Many in the faculty are so driven and so knowledgeable that partaking in their courses was less about thinking of it as just another class to finish, and more as an indispensable set of skills for future courses. I know that even though I took longer than some, the positive impact of my college experience here will continue to be an invaluable source of inspiration. Whether your time at Cecil be long or short, taking a moment to reflect on where you started, leading to what you are now achieving is worth the celebration. Everyone in attendance, even those aside from this graduating class, overcame numerous obstacles, deterrence put into place, only to challenge our motivation and more so our unity. Yet here we are, together, celebrating each other, as well as ourselves in the comforting embrace of the muse that lent drive to finish. I speak to everyone when I say, I am honored to graduate with you. Your efforts alone inspired me to speak before you, and I come to hope that your wave of determination continues on no matter where life takes you. At this opportunity, we can say we've conquered many feats, specifically now when motivation and time was so easy to lose. And so, I congratulate my fellow peers, a job well done, well earned, well remembered. We are the Cecil College graduating class of 2020, and we yield at no obstacle in the way of greatness. Hello everyone, my name is Mikael Williams, and today is a very important and exciting day for my fellow Seahawks and I. Today is the ending of one chapter and the beginning of another. Cecil College has prepared us for this moment, and I have no doubt in my mind that every single one of us that is graduating today will have successful futures. These past two years at Cecil College have been full of great memories and exciting times for me. I've been able to create some amazing relationships with not only other students, but faculty members as well. I, of course, have to start this off by thanking Coach Ed, Coach Selby, and the legend Coach Jerome for giving me a chance to play on their basketball team. I would not be here at Cecil College if it wasn't for them, and I can't thank them enough for taking a chance on me and allowing me to reach one of my goals in life. I always thought that in college there was no relationship between faculty members and their students. Typically the reputation of college is students are just a number. So I brought that type of mindset coming into CISO. However, once the first semester of my freshman year was over, I realized that CISO was the complete opposite of this. I could tell right away that people truly cared for others and the faculty would go out their way to make sure that their students are in the best situation to be successful. It felt like I was brought into one big family and that's what makes Cecil a special place for me. Everywhere I went on campus, I knew I had people that I could talk to, whether it were students or faculty members. There was never a time 
within these last two years where I felt that I had to hide who I was as a person. I always felt that I was able to show my true colors and the Cecil Community College embraced me for it. Since I spent a lot of my times in the athletic building, I was able to create some great relationships with the faculty. People like our athletic trainer, Ms. Taylor, who always made sure that I was taken care of both physically and mentally. Ms. Brooke and Ms. Amy, who gave me the opportunity to work for them and make an income. And of course, Ms. Thompson, who always helped me with my schoolwork in the study hall room. Of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg of people who have gone the extra mile for me. If I were to say the entire list of people who have helped me, you would probably be listening to me for quite some time now. But that just goes to show how many people truly care at Cecil College. I feel extremely lucky to have gone here for two years because not every student gets to experience this type of love and support from so many different people. This really made me want to work extra hard every day, whether it was on the court or in the classroom because I never wanted anyone at Cecil to feel that I let them down. Because people went the extra step for me, I wanted to return the favor and always go the extra step for them. There are a lot of amazing people here at Cecil. From a student athlete's perspective, I feel that there is no excuse to fail here because there is so much time, effort, and energy spent on us Cecil students in order for us to be successful. And with that, I would like to thank you, Cecil College. Thank you for helping me get to this day and graduate. Thank you for the consistent love and support that you have given me throughout these past two years. Thank you for making it feel like a second home. You will always have a place in my heart. Cecil College is proud to recognize student excellence and academic achievement. At this time, I would like to ask Dr. Ann Edlin to present the Outstanding Student Award. Good afternoon. The Donald M. Tomey Outstanding Student Award recognizes the student who is graduating with an associate degree, has the highest grade point average as of May, and has taken all of his or her coursework at Cecil College. This prestigious award is in honor of Donald M. Tomey, a longtime friend and supporter of Cecil College and its foundation. Today, I am pleased to present the college's most prestigious academic award to the following outstanding students who have met the established criteria. Quentin Tyler Fleetwood, Joel Philip Hudson Jr., Danielle Marie Mixon, Delena Catherine Ringer, Andrew Terry. On behalf of the faculty, administration, and staff of Cecil College, we are pleased to honor all of you as the outstanding students for the class of 2020. Congratulations. We wish you much success in your future endeavors. Each year, the faculty members select students from their departments for special recognition during the annual commencement ceremony. This is the 20th year that departmental awards have been given to students who demonstrate excellence in the various academic disciplines. 17 students are receiving departmental awards this year. Faculty members nominate and select these award recipients based on criteria established by each department's faculty. It is my pleasure to recognize the departmental award winners to this audience. Additionally, please take note of the faculty comments in the graduation program that highlight each award winner's special contributions and accomplishments. From the Department of Business, Lauren Elizabeth Dixon, Business. Andrew Terry, Accounting. From the Department of Education, Allison Nicole Little, Education. From the Department of Engineering and Mathematics, Sean Nolan McGowan, Engineering. Danielle Marie Mixon, Mathematics. From the Department of Health and Human Sciences, Nicholas Gerald Beamer, Social Work. John Paul de Guzman, Criminal Justice. Kenzie Lee Furster, Physical Therapist Assistant. Christy Eileen Gemmel, Paralegal Studies. Alia Brianne Johnson, Psychology. Delena Catherine Ringer, Nursing. 
from the Department of Science and Technology. Brittany Nicole Barnett, Cybersecurity. Conlon James Foster, Physics. Diana Gilbert, Biology and Chemistry. From the Department of Visual Communications, Arts and Performing Arts. Jessica Cameron Cook, Art and Design. Ethan William Scott, Performing Arts or Music. Joseph H. Way, Visual Communications. Please join me in congratulating the 2020 Departmental Award winners.
Good afternoon, candidates, faculty, friends, colleagues, and trustees, and congratulations to our graduation candidates on their accomplishments. I would also like to congratulate the family, friends, faculty, college staff, colleagues, classmates, and other individuals who served as support systems for our graduates. Without your support and encouragement, our graduates would not be here today. This is a unique time for us all, and I am particularly proud this year to celebrate the achievements of our graduates. With the recommendation of the faculty and with the approval of the Board of Trustees, I am honored to present the graduation candidates for the class of 2020.
Now that all of the candidates from the class of 2020 have been presented, I request that you confer the degrees and certificates as recommended by the faculty and approved by the Board of Trustees. Would the candidates for graduation please stand and face me? And now, by the power vested in me by the Higher Education Commission and on the recommendation of the faculty with the approval of the Board of Trustees of Cecil College, I now confer upon you the associate degree or certificate with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. <laughs> Graduates, you may now move your tassels to the left side. <laughs> Honored guests, I am pleased to present the graduating class of 2020. Thank you to everyone who worked so hard to make these exercises a success. Special appreciation goes to the members of the graduation committee. Not only are you ready to own your futures, you are the class that stepped up and own the present. We are grateful and we thank you. Congratulations, class of 2020.